Alright, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to check if two functions are linearly dependent or not. And that's the LD that I wrote down right here. And as we can see, we have four choices here. Each one has two functions. And let me tell you, to check if two functions are linearly dependent or not, it's not that bad at all. Let me show you the check. For two functions only. Alright? For two functions, all we are going to do is check if one function is a constant multiple of the other or not. In another word, we can write it down like this. Can we write the first function to be c, which is a constant multiple of the second function? Okay, if yes, then these two functions will be linearly dependent. If not, then they are linearly independent. Now, let me go through these choices right here with you guys. And maybe some of you guys noticed what the answer is already, but let me still you know, finish this for you guys. Let me begin with the first one, and this is how you can do to show work and to keep track and things like that. I'm going to first put down the first function y1, which is e to the 3t. I'm going to make this equal to, hopefully, so that's why I put down a question mark. Can I see, make this equal to c, a constant multiple with the second function, which is e to the 6t. Can I pick a c value to make this true for all values of t? Because right here, it specified that we want to get from negative infinity to positive infinity, right? Well, can this ever be true? Well, no, right? Uh, yes, I can say 6t is 2 times 3t, but they are the exponents. I want to look at the whole function. I cannot pick a c value to make this true, right? No, not possible, not possible. So in this case, these two functions are linearly independent because they are not constant multiple of each other. And now let's move to the next one. So let me put down t squared minus 9. Can I make this equal to c times the second function, which is t plus 3? Okay, maybe you see that this is t squared minus 9. You can factor it. I will factor it for you guys, which is the same as t minus 3 times t plus 3, right? And yes, I agree with you guys. I have the t plus 3 match. But this right here, this is not constant multiple. I cannot make c to be a function, right? Yes, this is the same as t minus 3 times t plus 3. But this right here, it's not constant. Therefore, uh, in fact, I cannot choose a number to make this true neither. And another way to see it real quick is that you see this is t to the first power and this is t to the second power. You can suspect they are linearly independent and they are linearly independent because you cannot find c value to make this true. So because they are not constant multiple of each other, once again, they are linearly independent. Next one. So let me write down 6t minus 12. Can I find a c value? And then that will be multiplying with 9t minus 18. All right, so in this case, I have t to the first, t to the first. So uh, the power kind of match, and then this is a constant, this is a constant. So it seems that I have a good hope with this, right? And I kind of suspect 6 and 9, right? And then this is negative 12, and this is negative 18. And let me just try to match with the first term, right? Let me just match the first term. For the first term only, here I have 6t. Here. I have 9 times c because I have to distribute the c, right? So I will put down 9c t. If you ignore the t, just match the coefficient. You are saying 6 is equal to 9c. And of course, I can divide by 9 on both sides. So I'm saying c should be 6 over 9, which is the same as 2 thirds. Well, is that the same case if I want to match the constant term? Right here, I have negative 12. And you see, can I make this equal to c times negative 18? Right? This is the constant term. And you see, this is going to be negative 12, negative 18 c. And I will divide by negative 18 on both sides. So they cancel. c is equal to hmm, negative 12 over negative 18. It happens to be the same as. 2 over 3, just like how we did it over here. 
In another word, if I pick my C value to be 2 over 3, the left hand side will be the same as the right hand side. So as you guys can see the computation already, I'm just going to erase this, and I'm going to erase this C now, because I can show you I found a constant, and that will be, you know, that, that can make this equation true. I, if I put down C to be 2 thirds, once I distribute it, you will notice that 2 thirds times 3t is exactly 6t, 2 thirds times negative 18 is exactly minus 12. This and that match. So I show you that uh, y1 is equal to 2 thirds times y2 for choice C. So this is a good news because in this question, we're looking for linearly dependent. We're looking for this to be true. One function is a constant multiple of the other. Therefore, C is the answer. C is the answer. And of course, you can check the, uh, the last one. I have sine t. This is sine of 2t. Mm, this right here, OK, if you want to use double angle formula, this is going to be 2 sine t, cosine t. OK, I have sine t match. But on the right hand side, I have this additional function. Once again, if you want to put down, can I put down sine t to be c times the other one, which is this? Can I pick a c file to make this true? Not possible. So for this, it's actually real quick. If you don't want to go through this kind of step, it's actually OK. Because all you are trying to do is uh, try to find out the constant to make sure that you can show me the first function is a constant multiple of the second, and just show me like this, and that'll be great. Anyways, C is linearly dependent, and that's it.